In this video, we'll take a look at some real life examples of ratios, so that when you see this, you don't feel like this. We'll also take a look at how you can use prime factor trees to simplify ratios into their lowest terms. So, I've just come to my cupboard to make some bread, but I only seem to have 200 grams of flour. My recipe says I need to mix 500 grams of flour with every 300 milliliters of water. So my ratio is 500 to 300. I have to figure out how much water I need to add if I only have 200 grams of flour, so that the ratios remain the same. If I only have 200 grams, I have 200 out of the 500 the recipe says I need. So we could write this as 200 grams over 500 grams. Simplifying this expression by dividing both amounts by 100, since both numbers have two zeros on at the end, we can see that we have two fifths of the amount of flour the recipe says we need, or two fifths of 500 grams. Because the amounts are proportional to one another, it means that I need to find out what two fifths of 300 milliliters of water is. But well, I can find one fifth of 300 milliliters by dividing by five, which is 60 milliliters. So twice that amount, or doubling 60 milliliters, tells us that we need 120 milliliters of water, which is two fifths of 300 milliliters. So our final ratio is 200 grams of flour to 120 milliliters of water. Perfect, just in time for lunch. <laughs> In another example, I read about a great recipe for a mocktail that I want to try out for a party. The recipe tells me I need 3 parts ice cream, to 8 parts coke, to 4 parts orange juice, to 1 part energy drink. Sounds delicious. Looked great, tasted great. I'm looking to make enough for at least 64 people to have one 500ml drink each. That means I'll need to make at least 32 litres of this mocktail. But there's a bit of a problem. When I was in the shop, I noticed that all the container sizes are different for each ingredient. The energy drinks come in cans of 500 milliliters. The Coke comes in 2 litre bottles. The orange juice comes in 1 litre cartons. And the ice cream comes in 2 litre tubs. So let's do some calculations. If we say that the energy drink, which is 500 milliliters, equals one part, that means both the Coke bottle and the ice cream, which are 2 litres, would equal four parts while the 1 litre carton of orange would equal 2 parts. In my ratio of 3 to 8 to 4 to 1, that would mean that I would need one can of energy drink to 2 bottles of coke to 2 cartons of orange juice to 3 quarters of a tub of ice cream. Hmm. Adding up the numbers in my ratio where each part equals 500 milliliters, I have 1 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3, totaling 16 parts. 16 parts times 500 milliliters will give me 8 litres of this mocktail. I know I have 64 people coming, who all want 500 milliliters each. And as we've already said, I'm going to need 32 litres in total. 8 litres divides into 32 litres exactly 4 times, so that means I need 4 times as much of every part. Multiplying the ratio by 4 means I need 4 parts energy drink, 32 parts coke, 16 parts orange juice, and 12 parts ice cream. Thinking about this ratio in relation to our package sizes, our final shop would then require 4 cans of energy drink, 8 bottles of coke, 8 cartons of orange juice, and 3 tubs of ice cream. Delicious! So attractive, and believe me, it tastes magnificent. <laughs> Great, tasted great. Gets the old eyes going. <laughs> In the final part, let's take a quick look at how we could use prime factor trees to simplify some big ratios quickly. I've been given the ratio of 2 kilograms sand to 750 grams concrete for a cement mix, and I want to find the simplest ratio for a bulk order. First, we need to convert the 2 kilograms into grams, giving us 2,000 grams in total. Then, we can begin to split 2,000 into its prime factors. 2,000 can be divided by 2, giving us our first prime factor. 1,000 can be split into 100 times 10. This 10 gives us two more prime factors of 2 and 5. 
And similarly, we can split 100 into two tens, which then both divide down into two and five. So our final prime factorization for 2000 is two to the fourth power times five cubed. Whizzing through the same process for 750 gives us our prime factors of two times three times five cubed. Taking out factors that occur in both gives us the highest common factor of 250. This means that what we have left is the lowest factor in each part of the ratio that isn't common with the other. So the simplest form of our ratio. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this has helped get your head around some ratios more easily. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's so